right, Scotty Burnett. Uh, I'm pumped. You know, I always see uh, I see you uh, doing interviews with Zeb, and he's around the club, and uh, always always uh, really interested in those. So good to uh, run into you here at OAC uh, Grade School State. This is year 15. How many uh, yep. How many of you of these have you been to? Oh uh, man, quite a few, quite a few. Um, I'd say probably at least 10 of them, 11. Yeah. You know. It's a it's a great event. These guys uh, do a great job, and it seems like for the wrestlers, uh, it's a fun and it kind of showcases them. You get that that uh, feel from your wrestlers. Yeah, no. So, you know, that's part of the the allure. You know, as a coach, that we get to promote it. You know, mm -hmm. amongst our kids, the just the, the atmosphere, the the venue, how they run it. You know, they treat it sort of like you know we were talking about Columbus for the high school guys. Yeah. It's a mini state tournament. Kind of like uh, the blueprint is the Schottenstein Center. So you know? that is a motivator. That this atmosphere, it's a motivator for your kids that you can use to, you know, kind of have a focus or a, mm -hmm. uh, like a culmination at the end of the year. Oh yeah, yeah, no doubt. We, uh, you know, and, and it's it's a great. It's a program builder. I, I'm I'm uh, helping build our program in Perrysburg, our youth program. And, it, and it's like, it's really cool to talk about it, you know, getting down here wrestling, having the kids experience, being out of the mat, winning, you know, losing, because, you know, it happens, you lose. Um, but just the, the qualification process, you hit a district, you got to qualify, you know, so you, you know, it gets them thinking about a process, you know, the process throughout the season, progression, you know, as a student athlete, and, um, you know, as a coach, you also learn, you know, I mean, I, I learn from my brother, I learn from our kids, I learned from prior tournaments just about the, 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 the actual process of start, middle, finish of a season and, and how to be able to help kids peak and teach them, you know, and just help them mentally just figure the sport of wrestling out. It's tough, man. Yeah, what, that, that, how individualized is that process with eight year olds, 10 year olds, 12 year olds? Well, you know, it, it's kind of tricky for me, you know, because just like I was telling you before, this last drive as a head coach, it was my first year being our head coach of a high school program, where you have to really figure out how to reach them one-on-one, -on -one, you know, and, and build your team that way. The little kids, it's more, you build a rapport and you understand their their, 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 their strengths and their weaknesses, but it's more emotional. You know what I mean? I think it's, 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 it's so mental. Not that it's not mental for junior high, high school, and, and obviously college guys and senior level guys, but the, the elementary age kids, it's so... The mental approach, and, and, you know, because they, they lose, they're crying, or maybe yeah. maybe they have, they feel like dad doesn't love them, or dad's pissed, or whatever the situation may be. It, it always comes back to, to to how are things mentally with the kids. You know what I mean? And I'm learning with that. I, I, I coach my son, who's nine, who you know, who's who's, who's pretty good. He's been wrestling yeah. for a while. You know, he's got a bright a bright future ahead of him, hopefully. But um, so being able to kind of navigate that. Mm -hmm. With other people's kids, it's yeah. tricky. You know what I mean? It's tricky, but you know, you just have to. I, I'm finding that I, I, I'm getting more into a groove. You know, my philosophy, understanding myself as a person, as a father, as a coach, and then trying to help people. So, are your expectations for your son the same as expectations for uh, other kids in the club? Or, you know, does that change? Like, how, how is that dad slash coach role and affect? You know what's different with with your kid, maybe, or not, or not different. Well, to be to be 100 percent frank with you, man, and, and it is, is what it is. It's it's sort of been a bane for my existence. You know, being able to manage being being dad versus coach. Um, you know, having almost unfair expectations for for my son. I'm more patient with our other kids, yeah. and then when it's my son, um, I I have to I, I really rely on help from my friends. Um, you know, it's something I pray about all the time. I really struggle with, but it's it's getting better. You know what I mean? But that yeah. dynamic's tricky. Uh, so what I, I try to do is I, I, lately, you know, my brother Eric, you know, we, we talked recently about yeah, we have the best seat in the house. We get mm -hmm. to sit in the corner. Yeah. You know, five feet away from our kid, who's 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 who, who, our kids who are who are good, and they're in these big matches and these awesome environments. And we got to be able to enjoy it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because, you know, you never know how many of those you get. Um, so, you know, I've been trying to look at things like that. You know, I've been trying to treat, you know, my son. You know, if I could treat him just as another club kid and not my son, 
things go well. But when I start to make it more about Scotty Burnett and and Scotty Burnett and that's Gray Burnett, Gray Burnett's my son and yeah. I have this coach and we have a club and there's, you know what I mean, which is totally this sick thing, but it, you know, I mean, it's just, I'm figuring that out, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm, I'm getting better with that. And I'm sure, you know, because you love the kid. Absolutely. Because you, know, you love the kid. Absolutely, um, man. So. So proud of him. I love, you know what I mean? I, and he's little and I don't know if he knows that one day he'll, you know what I mean? He'll understand how proud of him. Has it, has it, and you don't have to answer anything you don't want to, but has it ever caused a struggle in your household? And you know, has there been a time where you had to sit back and just be like, whoa. Uh, hold up and you yeah. know, make some adjustments. Well, most definitely, you know, and like I said, I'm I, I'm cool. I, I can be, you know, honesty for me, you know, at, where I'm at in my life is just easy to do. You know, I mean, you know, I got a great wife who gets it. She was a Division One All-American at Kent State field hockey player. You know, just she really gets it. So, yeah, it's caused, it's caused turmoil, you know, here and there, you know, because as a dad and I'm the coach, I feel like I'm right and my wife might be right, but I don't want her to know she's right. You know what I mean? That sick kind yeah, of thing. Yeah. But you know what, man? My wife's amazing and I have awesome family, you know, um, and, and my son. Like I said, it's it's good right now, but it has. In the past, it's really, it's really caused some, I would say, dissension, you know, between myself and my son. And that's just not a cool feeling when you're able to yeah. recognize that. When you can recognize it, you know, now, now you gotta be able to act on it and fix it. So that's that's kind of where I've been, you know what I mean? This, this last year has been pretty good, you know, but always evolving, you know what I mean? That's that's kind of the, kind of the approach. Yeah. Hey, so um, before the match, we were just watching, uh, I was talking to you a little bit about uh, Perrysburg and you, you laid out like an eight year plan almost to me. Like, holy crap, like eight, eight years down the road, you're thinking, and how, Im, how important, or do you have, does it need to be, you know, a state like Ohio maybe more to, to be thinking in that timeline, you know, if you want to have a successful team or team fighting for a, a state title. And is that, are you guys, are you guys always looking at things that way? So, you know, I, I know for me personally, the, the eight-year plan kind of came about just where our, our program is at, in its state right now. Um, our high school program is rebuilding. Our junior high has some, has some pretty good numbers. And just getting those kids to fall in love with wrestling. And our bitty program is where that eight-year mm -hmm. mark, you know, because you figure if you got guys in there that are nine, ten years old, or even your younger kids, and you're teaching them the right way, and you get those families passionate about wrestling mm -hmm. and doing more wrestling year round, and then everybody's on board, and everybody it, it just builds this positive momentum, you know, this energy, it can really get things going, you know what I mean? And then next thing you know, those guys are trickling into your junior high program, mm -hmm. you got good coaches at your junior high program, they're on the same page with you, then they, as soon as they hit high school, now you're, you're more polishing instead of building each kid, which is okay, it happens as a coach, you know, but, you know, so that's kind of, for me, I, I don't know if, I think every every coach thinks maybe um, in, in that type of a, of a fashion, you know, like looking ahead, but for us, I just know our program needs to think that way, you know, like, yeah. you know, we're going to be able to build and we're going to be able to get kids better, and, you know, you, you get the kids that uh, are, are athletic, you teach them, you get the kids that aren't athletic, you know, all the different types of kids you get, but you have to be able to promote positivity in your wrestling program to get people excited. And we have awesome people right now. Yeah, it's you, you know? The, to win a, a, like a state title here in Ohio is difficult. And right now there's some serious front runners based off, you know, what I saw in Columbia, uh, Columbus, excuse me, the other week. But you had mentioned like the parents and uh, you know, how important is the culture and the buy-in like on a family level to the success of a team? Well, it, I mean, it, 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 it's for me, I feel like it's what makes it go. Mm -hmm. It's the most important thing because the more buy-in you get from mom and dad and, you know, and maybe even deeper, grandma and grandpa or, or whoever the guardian, you know, is of, of that student athlete, that little kid, when they get excited about it, and then the kids are excited about it, people will go further for you. You know what I mean? They'll, they'll be more buy-in. You know, they'll hit camps. They'll hit. They'll do off-season wrestling. They'll. You know what I mean? They'll. They'll wrestle longer. You know, and I feel like that's what individually 
it's like anything, the more you do something, the better you get at it. You know, and that's what we're, that's what we got going on. And, and we got awesome coaches and dads volunteering their time. And, you know, our, our coaching staff at the junior high, man, we got a young motivated coach who's, you know, doing off season stuff. They've wrestled longer, you know what I mean? Everything that we got going on is positive. You know what I mean? It's just gonna take some time, you know what I mean? So, um, I don't know, man. I just think our program, that's just kind of where we're at. You know what I mean? Just what our mindset is and individually. People are, and what's cool is, I think people are, selfishly, they're buying into my, I guess my leadership and my message, yeah. my approach, which is good. Uh, yeah, but I'm sure that helps. You builds confidence in yourself, I would mm -hmm. imagine. Mm -hmm. um, oh, shoot, I had something. Uh, oh, yeah. So, based off what I've seen, like, that Zeb's done with you and just getting it seems like you're clearly doing wrestling stuff all the time. Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah. yeah. Do you you still love it? Like, do you, do you find yourself loving it more? Do you get tired of it? You know, how, how are you able to be so deep in there and then still grow as a coach and a, and a fan or you know whatever whatever it might be yeah what is it about wrestling that gives you that 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 drive to do it well yeah man you know once again to be 100 percent honest with you i'm i'm the most in love with wrestling right now that i've ever really i've ever been yeah and, and, and i don't mean you know i'm and i'm not i'm not saying that i'm old but you know i'm, I'm 38 you know I, I, I my body's not as not holding up as much as it was. I don't have any major injuries or anything, but it's just there's times you get tired. But my passion for wrestling is um, the strongest it's ever been. You know what I mean? Because you know when you when you get when you get to be part of a of, our, of a community like we're, what we got in Perrysburg, and you know you buy a house and you root yourself down and you're just able to. It's just so positive and it's good. You know what I mean? So. And then, you know, like I said, it's awesome when your your son is into wrestling. And it's cool to watch him make jump levels and get over the hump and, and have these cool moments, you know what I mean? Um, so, you know what I mean? For, for me, it, it's a good time. It's a, it's a good spot, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And, but but I, I try to just live kind of like now, you know what I mean? I, because I, I, I don't want to project. Hopefully, I'm this happy for a long, long time. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You know, we're talking about eight-year plan. You know, hopefully, you know, God willing, I can coach longer than that. Hopefully, we can do camps. You know, my brother and I, can, our camp system can flourish and continue to grow for years to come. So, you know what I mean? Hopefully, I'm, I'm, I'm still in love with it another 10 years from now, like I am, you know? What do you do uh, What do you do now to get better, to be a better coach? Do you, and do, you, do you have like areas you know you need to work on, or are there certain moments that you realize you need to learn something? What's your process for improvement? Uh, Self-evaluation, um, holding myself accountable. When I know, when I'm, in a, when I'm like in an oops moment, you know, when I maybe do something that, uh, you know, it's, you know, it's just like, you know, uh, you know, God works in mysterious ways. And it's like, you know, you know, we know as human beings we're wrong. So just being able to learn from mistakes, you know, um, ownership, accountability, and then, but, but then be able to act on it. You know what I mean? That's what we have to be able to do, I feel like. You know, not just as coaches, whatever, but as, as adults and human beings. When we know we're in kind of a, a rut, we got to act on fixing it. You know what I mean? And that's not easy to do, you know? Awesome. Well, uh, man, it's great catching up with you, uh, and I uh, really appreciate that you spend your time in wrestling and help oh, develop man, yeah. at the grassroots and now, you know, no doubt, at the next no level. Yeah. Um, super important, as you know. Uh, anything else you want to share with no, us? Oh, man, just like we were talking earlier, man, you guys do a great job. Full wrestling's awesome, so just keep doing what you're doing. We got to keep growing the sport, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, with colleges, uh, you know, dropping programs, you know, like it's happening, man. Uh, we just gotta, you know, on, on, on every level, we just gotta promote it and, and build the sport. Thanks, Scotty. Yeah, man. Dude, that was a great interview. Thanks, buddy.